going on YouTube, GS right here, so in today's video I have more great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12 or iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak, new exploits will be released and some research material from QLab has been made publicly available. This video is brought to you by Wondershare PDF Element, you can use it to easily edit, annotate and convert PDF files on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below. So if you go ahead in here on uh, this website called My Hacker News, you can see that at Pound to Own, which is pretty much a security event thingy where you can hack and you know win monetary awards for your hacking skills, they pretty much managed to hack a bunch of devices like flagship devices, including Samsung Galaxy S9, Xiaomi Mi6, and the iPhone 10 of all things. So they announced in here that the uh, hacking team Fluoroacetate managed to hack these devices including the iPhone 10, and it's very important because the vulnerability that they found and exploited can help you to pretty much get a sandbox escape and, you know, escalated privileges, which means that this can definitely be used in a jailbreak and it's an important component of a jailbreak. Now, a sandbox escape can also be used outside a jailbreak for a Houdini-like program that would allow you to, you know, theme some icons, do some life changes to the phone, and so on, just like Houdini and possibly Tongat. So it would definitely be a very great vulnerability, and guess what? They will release the vulnerability. Yes, I know, there have been many, many vulnerabilities for iOS announced recently, and I think I made a ton of video on those because I present iOS news and mostly jailbreak news, but these are very important things. The more jailbreak vulnerabilities we have that we can exploit, the more chances a jailbreak will be created sooner than later, which is of course what everybody wants. So yes, they will be releasing their vulnerabilities. It says in here, quote, the full details of the vulnerabilities and exploits discovered will be available in the 90s, allowing vendors to patch deployments. Now probably they mean 90 days, because this is a pretty much standard time frame when you discover vulnerabilities and do responsible disclosure to the uh, vendors. And they say, quote, at present, these vulnerabilities Vulnerabilities remain present in the flagship phones, putting users at risk until patches are released. So at this moment in time, these vulnerabilities found at Pound to Own 2018 in Tokyo are present on your iPhone 10 or your Galaxy S9 or your Xiaomi Mi6 and so on. So these zero-day vulnerabilities will be released once they are patched. So this is actually very good in terms of jailbreaking, a sandbox escape vulnerability that can definitely be used for both a jailbreak and a Houdini-like application or even for an updated version of Houdini. So I'm definitely looking forward for this vulnerability. Now we're going to switch gears to Lion Chen. You probably remember that Lion Chen managed to pawn iOS 12.1 on the latest A12 chip, which was dubbed to be a very powerful chip with um, pointer authentication codes and so on, so a lot of security on that chip. Now just a few hours ago, Lion Chen has posted this video, he says, quote, video of my Black Hat USA 2018 talk on iOS jailbreak, userland read-only memory can be dangerous. And this video in here is actually a very, very good video, I watched the entire video and it's it's something you definitely want to see if you are remotely interested in jailbreaking. And for those of you who like to troll and call people out for not releasing their jailbreaks or their research, for once, KinLab has indeed released the information about their bugs, about their vulnerabilities that they were using in the past for their jailbreak application. You probably have seen this application before, let me try to find it. Uh, yeah, this one here. So the black application with the jailbreak button that has been used to jailbreak iOS 10, iOS 11, and even iOS 12, if you take a look in here, is the same application for the iOS 12. So they talked about the vulnerabilities that they used in iOS 11 and in iOS 10, and the jailbreak that they created for iOS 10.3.3 at that time was indeed zero day based and of course uh, nobody jailbroke 10.3.3 at that point when they demonstrated that. So of course their vulnerabilities were very powerful. Now these vulnerabilities that they are having here and they talk about are indeed very powerful. We're talking about MMU level uh, vulnerabilities. So it's a lot of information in this video that they presented and it's nice to see KinLab presenting such information publicly for the first time. I mean, yeah, if you attended the uh, Black Hat you would have seen this back in um, in August when it was held, but of course if you aren't attending the Black Hat conferences, which are actually very expensive, then there was no way for you to know uh, this information that was presented there. And for the first time I see KinLab actually publishing 
their entire talk, which is pretty much uh, one hour long in here, including the vulnerabilities, the exploits, and of course, including the um, aforementioned research on the Apple GPU task, uh, MMU, IO MMU, and many, many other components that can be vulnerable. And they found vulnerabilities where I would have never thought to look for. So yeah, they pretty much discuss about user land read only memory, which can be dangerous because prior to the um, iOS 11, there was a bug that allowed you to pretty much corrupt user land uh, read only memory to do uh, arbitrary reads and writes, which was definitely not something you would want to happen. Normally, the memory that is shared between the kernel and the user land has to be read only and has to remain read only. And of course, that does happen now. And there were checks in place even on iOS 10, but some of the checks that are very important were simply ignored in the code. So yeah, definitely hefty bugs. Anyways, this is pretty much it, guys. If you're interested in jailbreaking and how the jailbreak works and how iOS exploits work, go ahead and watch that video. I cannot recommend it enough. But yeah, more exploits to come, which is definitely great for both iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12, assuming it's iOS 12 that they're targeting. But it's very likely this is what they're targeting because most of the times, at these conferences and events, they do target the latest versions because, of course, that gives you more power and that gives you, of course, a better award. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Until the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.